So I've already done a, uh, a review of the uh, demo board uh, available all over the internet. As it turns out, there's more than one version. Um, so because I kind of screwed up my last one, um, for $15 I figured I'd buy another one. And I noticed that there were different models, so this one is a bit different. So this is the one that I reviewed, and and you can say, oh, well, they're, this, they're, they're the same. Well, they're not exactly the same. So uh, we have a short open load, that's the same through. Then we have a minus 5 dB and a minus 10 dB. Here we have a minus 10 dB and a minus 3 dB, so that's different. And then we have, um, they're out of order too. So we have a capacitor only, yes. Inductor only, um, yes. And then we have uh, that one and that one to match, and that one and that one match. Um, and then we have two filters, so those are out of order. Uh, we have a 400 um, megahertz low pass, and we used to have a 30 megahertz low pass. And now we have a 500 megahertz high pass. We used to have a 100, 100 megahertz high pass. And then we had two filters. Previously, we had that little saw filter, that 433. It's actually 430, 434.9, no, 433.9, I think it is. That's also used in the, net, in the uh, tiny SA. Um, so now it's being replaced with a uh, 6.5 megahertz cut filter. Oh, that was this one. So these are the same, six and a half megahertz uh, cut filter. So those those ended up being the same, but the the pass filter went from uh, 433 megahertz to 10.7 megahertz. So that's the IF filter of a uh, FM radio. So that's a little bit cheaper part. Um, let's see what else is different. Uh, there's a ruler at the top. And the PC board's uh, thicker, so this one is a 32,000th of an inch, and I think this one is looks like one millimeter or something. So a little bit, little bit different in thickness. This one's he this one's heavier. Uh, comes with the same cables, and probably comes with the same problems with the cables, <laughs> which I had last time. Um, so another thing that I found on eBay while I was buying this is uh, I thought maybe I'd get some replacement cables for my last one before I decided to buy a new one of these. I decided to buy some replacement cables. And I did find, I did find these on eBay. They came in packages of three and uh, they're different. They're a little bit shorter and much tinier in, in uh, diameter. And they are uh, different dielectrics inside, which uh, could mean that they're more rugged. I haven't played with them enough to tell you that they are more rugged, but I think they are. So let me change lenses and I'll show you the close-up of, uh, of these new connectors. Okay, let me give you a, a, a close-up of the board here first. Um, Okay, let's zoom in on these uh, on these connectors here. So um, this is the uh, this is the cable that came with the uh, with the demo board, and it has a, a white insulation that's pretty soft. And these are the these are the replacement cables that I found on eBay, a package of three, and uh, they seem to have a little black insulator on the inside, and the black. Uh, plastic insulator on these seem to be a little bit more robust than the white ones over here, so maybe they'll last longer. I don't know yet. I just got them today, so can't say that they're going to last longer, but at least you can get replacements if you screw yours up. The other ends are the same. There's no difference in there. You can see the difference in the thickness of the uh, coaxes, though. So, uh, there are different models. Should you buy this one? Should you buy the other one? I don't think it really matters. It just gives you something to play with.